guys welcome back to the channel this is lindy aka paleo barbie if you are new here thanks for stopping by um today's vlogmas so this is vlogmas day i want to say 14 <laughs> day 14 um we're gonna make a quick easy recipe hack so if you have a holiday party to go to or you just want something quick and easy to put together for your family um this is a good recipe for that it's it's it's, you know, AKA like a Sandra Lee kind of recipe where you use a box mix and you make something out of it. Um, so we're gonna use a keto brownie mix and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So let's get started. All right, for this recipe, you're gonna need the Duncan Hines keto um, brownie mix, or you can use a different brand of keto brownie mix. Um, we're gonna use a half a can of pumpkin, pumpkin puree, 100% pumpkin. You're gonna use. You're gonna need eggs because it recall. You're gonna do this exactly how it says. So you're gonna need your eggs, your water, and your butter for this recipe. So we're gonna mix up this just like it says on the package, and I'll show you what we're gonna do next. All right. So you're gonna mix up your brownie mix just as the package says. We're gonna put half of this in the bottom of our pan, and then we're going to put some pumpkin on top. So let me show you that real quick. All right, half of the pan of, or half of the uh, mix of the brownies are in here. I am using parchment paper, really makes and clean up easier. Now I'm gonna take half of this pumpkin and I'm going to swirl it around on top and then add another layer of chocolate. All right, so the pumpkin is on. Now I'll spread the rest of the chocolate on top of that. All right, looks like this. Then you're gonna put it in the oven. So for, I have a round pan, I usually use a square pan. So it says for this size pan, we're gonna do, uh, Let's see how many minutes 24 to 28 minutes but I'm going to check it because this may take a little longer with the pumpkin in here so we're going to go ahead and stick this in the oven all right guys it's out of the oven I ended up doing it about 29 minutes or so if you can see and you don't it's still going to be a little tender when it comes out you know how brownies are um, and what I was going to say also you can do is you can add uh, chocolate chips or nuts to this on the top I was out of lilies. I thought I had some, but that was what my intention was, was going to be to put some chocolate chips on top of here. So next time I'm going to do that. But now that we have the parchment, I'm going to let it cool and it's going to come out of here super easy so that we can enjoy it. So I hope you guys try this and let me know what you think and uh, what you do to it down below. All right, so opening today's advents, the 14th. You know, it's so weird that I have my grandkids again today, but tomorrow they will be here. The red Moscato. So that one goes in the fridge. And then time 14 on here. Let's be here. There it is. All right. The mature cheddar. That one's pretty good. All right, those are my advent calendars for today. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe hack and try it yourself and let me know down below if you have done something similar. I will talk to you guys in tomorrow's Vlogmas.